Uh-oh. This time, anything you put on that prompter, he will read. Arnold Q1. It is noteworthy that the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. trouble <laughs> uh, just imagine if the hopelessly incoherent and inept ah. president was merged with the smoothest silk fictional news anchor well you don't have to imagine higher than the percentage of the men who do so end of quote repeat the line <laughs> but just who is running america president biden or the person operating his auto cue and yet there's a good reason why Biden's handlers insist that the president use an auto cue when speaking to the media. Because this is what can happen when Joe goes off script. And to get hot, I got a lot of I got hairy <laughs> legs that turn that 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 that, that turn <laughs> blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping <laughs> on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Idiot. This is a story about a magical place. Ajay Goel processes raw wheat and sells it to businesses using it to make products we consume, like bakeries, hotels, restaurants. After months of dealing with a shaky market, his business has finally found steady ground. In February, prospects had looked promising for wheat processors like Ajay, thanks to record output in India. Then. Russia invaded Ukraine, a major wheat exporter. India, which has traditionally consumed most of its wheat domestically, started exporting to cash in on global demand. After all, India had more than enough, after a bumper harvest for a fifth straight year. Prime Minister Narendra Modi even declared that if world trade rules permitted, India could feed the world, until an unseasonal heat wave damaged crops. Domestic wheat prices rose by nearly 20% between March and April, putting a big squeeze on Ajay's margins. So normally, you know, wheat is a very low volatile uh, commodity. There is hardly any volatility in wheat prices. And even 5% volatility is a big thing in wheat prices in the past. Along with the highest inflation rate seen in two decades, it forced India to make a U-turn and completely ban wheat exports. The international community criticized it and urged Delhi to reverse course to manage the global wheat shortage. But what's bad for the world is not necessarily so for India. Domestic businesses have welcomed the ban. Industry, domestic industry has been really protected with this ban because of this only now our industry is getting consistent wheat supply presently also and now we are also sure that the same kind of situation will continue for the season until the next crop comes. 